Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be cleaning the Ford Edge because it's gone through loads of mud and puddles and sort of loads of rubbish on the road. So it's got pretty dirty in all fairness. So the review I'm going to do today is on this and it's Auto Bright Direct Magi Foam. You can see there I've got it in the 5 litre drum. I have been buying this stuff for years. This is not a sponsored video. I bought the product out of my own money. I'll link a description for it in the website. And in all honesty it's one of the best snow foams that I've used. So I haven't used too many snow foams in my time. I've used the Auto Bright Direct one, obviously, which I've got here, and I've used a few from Car Shark, which are pretty rubbish in all fairness. One that I was really let down by is Auto Finesse. Now, their one I thought was going to be really, really good. Maybe I've got the ratios wrong, I'm not sure, but I mixed it the same as what I would with this stuff, and the foam just wasn't that thick. So, what I do is I'll show you the car and how dirty it is. I'm not going to pre-rinse it or anything like that. I'm basically going to chuck the snow foam straight on it. I'm going to put in about an inch of it, which I'll show you in a bit anyway. And I'll show you how good it is, obviously, in my opinion. And you can sort of see the results, and then we'll clean the car, and then I'll show you some nice shiny car picks. Right, so another Ford to the family. This is obviously our Ford uh, Edge. Um, so we've got, the, we've got the Focus, we've got the Edge, and then we've got the Fiesta outside. Everyone keeps calling me Dagenham Dan, because I like my Fords, but oh well. You can see how dirty it's got over the last sort of couple of weeks. This is probably about three, three, four weeks worth of dirt. And you can see there, tyres are looking grubby as hell. Uh, boots open, I've got to shut that before it gets caked. Played golf today, so clubs have obviously made that mess there, but that'll come off easy. But you can just sort of see here, all the grubbiness that's sort of built up, all the diesel splatters all over the back. And I'll show you what the snow foam does to this. It's pretty decent. Obviously, don't clean it up like, fully, don't get me wrong, but it will clean all of this crap off the car very, very quickly. Right, so this is what I do when I'm doing snow foam. Geek bottle. This one obviously comes with a little pump spray, which is quite handy, but not all companies do this, I don't think. So I put the magic foam in, I'll show you how much I'm putting in. I might put a little bit more in just to show you. So yeah, I mean, I've gone a bit overkill on the bottle there. But I'll show you how quickly and easy this foam's up, but you don't need that much. I would say you only need sort of half of that, really. Right, so as shown before, I've got the quick release gun on. I've got a snow foam, I'll put it on there, I'll leave it to sit there for about five, 10 minutes, and then I'll rinse it off and show you the results. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, so I'm going to rinse it all off now, uh, get a dog covered in water more than likely, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Now, I haven't used a brush on anything or nothing like that. Right, so this is the car after the snow foam. You can see me rinsing all this off. Now, obviously, it hasn't got rid of all of it. You know, it's not clean, but it's got rid of a lot of the crust that was on there. Obviously, the jet wash helps, taking a lot of it off anyway. But I'm just trying to show you what it looks like when you just put snow foam on and rinse it off. And to be honest, like I say, one of the best snow foams I've ever used. Obviously, the roof's not that dirty, but it comes up pretty good. Here looks pretty good. It's all the lower quarters and the tyres obviously there's all muck there and stuff like that so it doesn't get rid of everything but it just makes it safer now for when I wash it it'll just like that all the rubbish is taken off of it. So I'm gonna do that now and I'm not bore you with that too much because this is not a washing video. Uh, but then we'll wrap the video up. Right, so that's the car cleaned. Obviously I've used soap and uh, drying towels etc. But that is the car cleaned after using the snow foam. I'm not gonna explain how I've done it. 
Um, I've done it in plenty of other videos, so I'm not going to bore you too much. Uh, just a little update as well. Got some uh, wind deflectors for the edge. Only 37 quid for the uh, four of them, so not sort of too bad. And a really decent shine to this car. Uh, obviously, it's just a workhorse and a family car. But yeah, the uh, Magic Foam is pretty decent. Right, I'm absolutely frozen from washing the car. I don't know why I've done it on a winter's day, but obviously the car really needed doing. I wanted to show you what the uh, snow foam looked like. So obviously you could see how good it was and how well it worked. It obviously doesn't get rid of every single bit of dirt. That's not what it's for. Basically, it will just strip down as much dirt as possible before you actually go to like a contact wash. I'm sure there's better snow foams out there, but obviously I've not had a chance to test them all. I've just used the Auto Bright Magic Foam for years now, and I thought I'd just show you guys what it looks like if you're interested in buying it. Yeah, so the Auto Bright Magic Foam works out around about £30 for the 5 litres. I can't remember exactly how much it is. Bloody dog. You can't get down. I can't remember how much exactly it is, but what I do is I'll put a link in the description for you if you want to buy it. Like I said, I'm not sponsored in any way, it's just my personal opinion on it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a quick one, but if you've liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you've hated it, give it a thumbs down. Like I say, I really don't care either way, it's just nice to know what you think. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.